Hello Sim fans, Racing393. Look at this. Now, this is a bit unexpected. Uh, I won this. Uh, Sim Labs were doing a competition online and you know, it's a case of just following, subscribe, comment on all their like social media platforms. I did it knowing that I thought if, I, if I, I'm not gonna win that, I was thinking, and it, if I did win it, it's, I don't need it because it doesn't fit my uh, my system. So I, I sort of forgot about it. And I got an email, and you know what it's like with emails? Um, I thought, what's that? It's from, you know, was it from Simlab? I think it was from, uh, what was the other company called? Sim, I can't think now. There was a, Sim Labs are what make this, but there's another company that make sim racing equipment. I can't remember, that's off, off the top of my head, but anyway, they, they message me and you know it's like, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, all right, scam. And I read it and I thought, well, it looks genuine. It's a little bit more direct personally to me rather than a random sort of, you know, hello, sir, we've got your details and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, well, but they were asking for details, uh, confirming address and contact details. So I thought, well, if that's if it's a scam or it's a, a a bot, I gave them I gave them my address. Um, and but as far as other contact details, that was on the foot of the email in my um, signature part, the little box at the bottom. So I said, well, here's my address. Um, if you want my, the rest of my details, name and number, etc., it's on the foot of the email. Thinking, well, you know, if it's a robot, then it's not going to know that, is it? But anyway, lo and behold, it was genuine and I had one. Oh my God, one. This is worth about, I looked online, over a £1,000, which is, it's ridiculous, like $1,300 or, yeah, about $1,300. I mean... But what am I going to do with it? <laughs> it's more to the point. Right, this is where this video comes in handy now. So, for sim racing, I think there are sort of three distinctive camps that you fall into. So, not in no particular order, but anyway, camp one, absolutely know everything about anything, and you do generally know a lot. You're a master of sim racing knowledge. Camp one, for example. Camp two, those that think they're in camp one, but they actually know jack shit. Right, I'm not quite, I'm not quite in that camp. Camp three is kind of where I fall into. I know quite a bit, but I don't know everything. And this is that situation. Now, I've got uh, a Fanatec wheel system, direct drive. And I'm quite happy with that, you know, and I thought, well, you know, I like, I've got quite a collection of steering wheels, but, you know, I got this thinking, that's not going to work. Anyway, upon further investigation, yes, it does fit. It just means I've got to buy um, the adapter that, that goes onto the wheelbase, and then you bolt this 70 millimeter PCD mounting to that, and then it works. It is powered as well. So in a future video, once I've got everything, I'll probably will do a proper unboxing and a, by no stretch a proper review, because that's not really my my forte, but I just thought I'd share it with you because you know it's one or number one. I bloody won! What what the hell is going on? Number two, I have looked at this. Um, I'm absolutely blown away. Uh, my wheels are good enough. Good, you know. I, I I love what I've got, but this actually kicks the ass out of what I've got. It started me looking at other wheels. I can't believe the prices. That's insane. It's too much. I would never have bought this. I could never afford, a, uh, uh, I could never warrant spending a thousand pounds on a steering wheel for a simulator, effectively a game, isn't it? 
Um, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, this is, as you can see, Grid MPX. It's a traditional like GT stroke. I wouldn't say a Formula wheel, but more more to the kind of a GT car. But you know, it'd be handily can be used in an, a, a, a Formula type of vehicle. Um, but we're going to get in another video soon. I'm not sure when because I'm waiting for some bits to come from uh, Fanatec. Uh, there'll be another video with a follow up, perhaps like an installation process. Don't know yet. Um, haven't really got the facility to show that at the moment, but maybe I can set the camera up somehow. Uh, that's a possibility. Um, yeah, so I just want to share that. I'm really, I'm ecstatic actually. So I, I can't believe I've actually, what has, I've been on for years since I was putting my teens. So eons ago, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this will be coming up very soon. I'm sure about the camera shakers because I'm so excited, I'm banging the table. So subscribe if you can, please uh, hit the notifications. If you're interested in seeing how this goes, then um, just uh, like, share, follow, and subscribe, whichever that is. That's for everything, isn't it? Not maybe YouTube. But anyway, you know what I mean. I hope you enjoy the video. Look forward to part two, and I'll speak to you very soon.